So for the last uh, patient, we did a 10x procedure for uh, calcific tendonitis of the rotator cuff. And uh, there was uh, multiple large deposits of calcium within the rotator cuff, uh, likely from partial tears, and there may be some underlying uh, hormonal issues, potentially parathyroid hormone or uh, hypercalcemia. But regardless, uh, that causes significant pain and uh, dysfunction. The 10X procedure actually can uh, debreed the calcium from the uh, tendon. So we went in with ultrasound guidance. Uh, we can show you pictures of the actual needle uh, in the calcium deposits and lavaging, and then afterwards those calcium deposits uh, were significantly smaller. One of them was virtually completely gone. Uh, the others were debulked at least 80, 90 percent. And so hopefully the body has a chance to uh, remodel and remove the rest of the calcium. Uh, we'll be doing follow-ups at two weeks and six weeks. If at six weeks uh, to three months we want to see resolution of the pain, if there's still persistent discomfort or any issues and we see calcium, uh, then we're probably going to uh, go to an amniotic membrane uh, growth factor injection to help the tendon uh, regenerate and heal, which has been very effective. Uh, but we like to get as much calcium out of the tendon first uh, before we move to that type of therapy.